I'm Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 750 posts, videos, and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, here she is, a nurse practitioner, we're the New York Times and Amazon best-selling authors of the Survival Medicine Handbook and other books, plus the designers of the awesome board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, named by the Prepared Family blog as a teaching preparedness resource of the week. One of the scenarios we write about is the pandemic, infectious diseases that cross national and regional boundaries. Although we've had success curing many illnesses with antibiotics, we are still struggling with outbreaks of viral diseases. In 2014, thousands died in West Africa during the Ebola epidemic. In 2015, chikungunya virus crossed the Atlantic into the Western Hemisphere and infected up to 2 million people. This year, Zika virus, Z-I-K-A, is the latest pandemic and the first to generate travel warnings specifically for women that are pregnant. A little known virus of equatorial Africa and Asia, the Zika virus has jumped the pond and is wreaking havoc in South America, especially among pregnant women and their newborns. Like its predecessors, it's a mosquito-borne disease. Citizens of the United States, citizens of the Americas really have little immunity against it. Most people experience mild flu-like symptoms, but an infection during a pregnancy can yield a newborn with brain damage. In 2015, it was mainly a Brazilian problem, causing a congenital abnormality called microcephaly, a birth defect that started appearing among newborns. Microcephaly presents as an abnormally small head and is very disfiguring and associated with severe mental handicaps. It might even be incompatible with life in some cases. Brazil is a large country and it has a youthful population. In an average year, it sees only, normally, about 150 cases of microcephaly. But since the arrival of Zika virus in May 2015, there have been over 4,000 cases. Now, cases of the virus are being reported in the United States. One in Hawaii, one in Virginia, one in Arkansas, mostly in returning travelers from South America. Now, at present, it has been seen in every country in this hemisphere except for Canada and Chile. Zika virus is a member of the Flavivirus family, which contains a number of well-known diseases you might have heard of, such as chikungunya, West Nile virus, and yellow fever. Like the others, Zika virus is carried by mosquitoes, which are the main agent of transmission, although it's possible that human-to-human -human transmission might also occur. Unlike the others, this virus affects the unborn. Symptoms of the virus include headache, fever, rash, and pink eye conjunctivitis. The grand majority of infected people, however, have no symptoms at all. This is very ominous for a pregnancy as the mother doesn't even know she is at risk. There's no vaccine or treatment available that is effective against Zika virus. Prevention, however, is pretty simple. Don't travel to the countries where widespread outbreaks are occurring. If you have to go, use long pants and sleeves, plus mosquito repellent and netting. Beware of areas with lots of standing water. That's where mosquitoes breed. Mosquito control efforts are underway in Brazil and other countries at risk. Besides the usual sprays and pesticides, you might be surprised that GMOs, genetically modified organisms, are playing a part. A male Franken mosquito called 0X or OX513A has a gene that kills his offspring. Female mosquitoes only mate once during their lives, so if they breed with this male mosquito, this has a significant effect in decreasing the population. Matter of fact, Brazil claims more than a 90% decrease in mosquito populations after the release of OX513A. That mosquito, by the way, was also used in the Florida Keys in 2012 over protests to combat an outbreak of another flavivirus called dengue fever. It remains to be seen how genetically modified organisms will affect the ecology of an area. The risks and the benefits are going to have to be very carefully weighed. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you need a solid medical kit for the range or for that hunting trip, check out Nurse Amy's gunshot kit on her store at store.doomandbloom.net. 
Thanks again. Mm-hmm.